The American President Joe Biden has hit the campaign trail in Michigan and has continued with his relentless sprint to try and persuade the lawmakers, donors and voters that he's actually still in good shape, both physically and mentally. His campaign has come amidst mounting pressure for him to drop out of the U.S. presidential race. The 81-year-old American president made a surprise stop in Detroit and acknowledged the speculation surrounding his candidacy. He even joked that he feels just 41 and not 81, and there's still a lot more that he can actually still do for the American people. For the longest time, I was too young because I was the second youngest man ever elected to the United States Senate. And uh, uh, anyway, and uh, now I'm too old. But I know hopefully with a little bit of age comes a little bit of wisdom. And I hopefully that in this, in this moment, I think the alternative is not much of an alternative. The Biden's first solo press conference the previous day witnessed the president present a detailed picture of his policies, but the verbal flops referring to Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky as President Putin and Vice President Kamala Harris as Vice President Trump ruined his efforts. Russia will not prevail in this war. Ukraine will prevail in this war and will stand with them every single step of the way. That's what the compact says loudly and clearly. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she's not qualified to be president. So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is that I think I'm the most qualified person to run for president, I beat him once, and I will beat him again. The Biden Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, the Defense Secretary Lord Austin, and also the National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan sat in the audience. And their faces of dismay after the gaps were very visible for everyone to see. Now, that after 24 former Democrat lawmakers sent a letter to Biden calling for an open convention this summer to decide the 2024 ticket. They've also warned that if the president stays on the ballot, it would mean that the party would not only lose the White House, but also be decimated in the Congress and in the Senate. However, analysts believe that Biden was fluid and was extremely well at the recently concluded NATO summit. And that every slip up was being magnified tenfold unnecessarily. Presidents make gaffes all the time. They say things that they don't mean to say. Um, but because of Biden's debate performance and these growing and, and then what the polls show about him losing to Trump and growing doubts among leading Democrats that that he can win and defeat Trump. Um, Every flub is magnified uh, tenfold. Meanwhile, the list, of, the list of business leaders who are calling for President Biden to step aside from the presidential race continues to grow. The latest addition is that of Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group. In a blog post, Branson heaped praises on the president for his accomplishments while in the White House, but underscored that now it's actually time that he should consider what's at stake and should step back from the run. But to add to the misery, several major donors also informed the Biden campaign that they will be withholding nearly about $90 million of the promised funds. If Biden gets the ticket, according to reports, the frozen amounts included multiple eight-figure commitments. Biden, the oldest person ever to serve as the American president, has had a series of verbal slip-ups lately. In an interview with Philadelphia's radio station about a week ago, Biden mistakenly referred to himself as the first black woman to serve with a black president. He had momentarily confused himself with Vice President Kamala Harris while reflecting on his time as the Vice President under former President Barack Obama. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.